Hi guys, new location unlocked. If you don't notice, this is a new car and I'm gonna give you a car tour in a second, but first I wanted to kind of explain. This was supposed to be a kind of car chat as we drove across the country. However, that drive did not go as smoothly as planned. So I got a little bit stressed and a little bit flustered and distracted and decided not to film myself. And then I was like, I'll do a car chat driving around and doing all the Utah things when we're living in our apartment, but that didn't go to plan either. So instead I'm at my parents' house and we're doing a car chat here and I'm gonna give you a little life update and then I'll give you a car tour. Then I'll tell you all the fun plans coming up. I have my Coke Zero. It's not quite Utah top quality because there's no syrups or creamers in it, but I think I'm gonna do a video where I do all of the like Utah iconic things like going up into the mountains and getting something at a soda shop. I need more um, brainstorming on this because I know there are more Utah things for me to do, but I need to think of them so it's like actually a full video because I think that would kind of be fun. A reintroduction to Utah because we've been gone for so long. I've actually lived in Tennessee like three times the amount of time that I've lived in Utah this year. That's just insane to me. So I need to like get reacquainted with Utah and I think that would be a fun video idea. So let's start back where I left off my last video. I think I told you already that we went to go check into our hotel and the company forgot to book one for us. We ended up booking our own thing and we got into a hotel, but you know, it just it just made it hard for me to record. Enjoyed the last couple days in Memphis, had some good food, and then we started our drive back home. Before we started our drive back home, Noah's car had broken down like three times throughout the summer. <sighs> We knew that it was on its last leg, but we wanted it to last through the summer. We ended up pouring like over $4,000 into this stupid car. <laughs> and I noticed that the tread on the back tires was really, really low. I didn't want to spend the money on it, but at the same time I was like, if he crashes this car because there's no traction, I will never forgive myself. So I made him go get new tires, put way more money into the car, and we started our drive home. Literally an hour into the drive, we noticed some problems with his car. It was throwing up the overheating light on his dash. So we pulled over, refilled the coolant because it was a problem that he had had before. And we got back on the road and we're just gonna kind of pretend like nothing happened and hope that we made it. We made it through the whole first day, but he couldn't go over like 65, 70 miles per hour, which for the first part of the drive was like no big deal because the speed limit was like 70. <sighs> yeah. The next day we got on the road. We started in Nebraska. We got all the way through Nebraska and into Wyoming. And both of those are just super, super hilly. And the whole time Noah could not accelerate his car. Every time he would, it would throw up that overheating symbol and we just really had no idea what was going on. The speed limit throughout Wyoming is 80 miles per hour. If we were going to get home at, in like a decent amount of hours, we needed to go 80 miles per hour and he couldn't go above 50. It started like screaming at us, like not just like throwing up the light, but like beep, 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 beep. And so in the middle of Wyoming, we had to pull off to the side of the road and we're like, you know what? I don't think this car is gonna make it to Utah. So Noah goes to call AAA. They're like, yo, your car is broken down so many times this year, you are out of AAA calls. So we didn't have anybody to tow it, we couldn't drive it, and we're in the middle of nowhere, Wyoming. Luckily we had service and Noah is a fast, very logical thinker. I am like so grateful for that because that's not my strength. So when I say married right, I totally married right. And he thought of going to a U-Haul because the car was still drivable. You just couldn't go over like 50 miles per hour. And we knew it was probably not safe to drive all the way to Utah. We were like, 
20-ish minutes from Cheyenne and he looked up the U-Hauls in Cheyenne, found a U-Haul truck that he could rent that you can tow your car on the back of. So instead of paying to tow our car to Utah, we just paid for the U-Haul that you can tow your car behind. It was like 600 bucks, which is still not fun to spend, but we were able to get our car from the middle of Wyoming into Utah. And then we were like, let's just get rid of it. So. We got back to Utah and we were supposed to move in on September 8th. So we got back September 7th. We were supposed to move into our apartment on September 8th. We show up September 8th with the big U-Haul and we're like, actually this works out really good in our favor. We have the U-Haul. We can use that to move all of our furniture in. So we're all excited. We're like, we can make the most of this situation. The leasing office is closed for a company party, even though all of our legal lease documents say that our move in is September 8th so I'm so mad we ended up having to return the U-Haul which sucks but we we're like okay we'll go back the next day and we'll move in we show up the next day and they're like we don't have an apartment for you <laughs> what <laughs> what I turned on Karen mode and I do kind of feel bad about it but it got us a month of rent free and it got us into an apartment we're moving in tomorrow so we've spent the last week at my parents' house and then we'll move into our apartment tomorrow if all goes to plan. I honestly don't trust them anymore, but hopefully that hopefully that works out. Saturday, we will go to California. In California, I do wanna do a big long vlog because we're gonna be doing so much stuff. We're going to Disneyland, we're going to a Dodgers game. We're doing like all of the California things. So I feel like we I really should vlog it really excited about that okay but back to like our experience coming back to Utah so we couldn't move in on the 8th and so we were like what are we gonna do the rest of the day we like blocked off this whole day in our schedule to move in and Noah was like let's go look at cars so we went to a dealership we had them do a trade-in appraisal on Noah's car and basically all the big problems that happened with cars other than the transmission going out were happening with his car. <laughs> his car was worth like basically nothing and to repair it would have been like at least $4,000. So we ended up trading it in, just getting it off our hands. We did lose a fair amount of money on that car, which sucks. It's the price you pay to not worry about cars anymore. I don't know if I'll ever buy a used car again. Our experiences with used cars have just been awful and I think that we A have really bad luck and B just chose the wrong make and model of cars. My one request for you guys is to never buy a Jeep. They're not worth it. The amount of money we threw into this car just to give it away for like nothing sucks. But I got a nice new car out of it. So everyone, let's thank Noah for giving me a nice new car. Love him. Let me give you a little, a little tour. So it's a Mazda CX-5. My other one is a CX-30. So this one's a little bit bigger. So when Noah and I want to have kids, there's a little bit more space for them. It's the CX-5 Carbon Edition. So it has the blacked out rims. Hopefully that wind isn't too loud. I just love the look of it. The color is just amazing. And I know it's a little dirty. We had a little bit of dirty rain the other night and we haven't transferred over the Quick Quack account to be on this car instead of the Jeep. So it's just a little messy right now. Isn't she so cute? <laughs> this is the interior. Ignore my Aquaphor. That goes with me everywhere. It's for <laughs> my chapstick. Really nice leather upholstery with the red stitching. I love it. I think it looks just so classy. And then it has the Bose speakers, which is really nice. Oh, so you can see the red stitching through here. Yeah, I love her. It's got CarPlay, adaptive cruise control, Know, all of the amazing benefits of a modern car. Yeah, I'm actually really happy about it. So Noah's gonna take over my CX-30 and then I get the CX-5. Really excited. So far we love our Mazdas. I've also had a lot of people asking for a heart transplant update and it has been like almost a full year since I did that big video with my mom. I want to do a full actual proper sit down update video with her because it's her story to tell and 
She's way better at explaining things because she's experiencing it firsthand. But I can tell you a little bit about my experience with it in the last year and where I'm at right now. Last year's been really hard. She um, was on the heart transplant list for the majority of the last year, but she did end up getting taken off of it in the spring, I wanna say, because she has thyroid cancer. And she went through surgery to remove half her thyroid. She's back on the heart transplant list, and I'm sure when I do an update, we'll go more into depth on that. Where am I at? I am at this weird stage where I'm so used to receiving bad news about my mom that it's become almost normal to me. So I don't know how to explain this. I'm at this weird place where I have a hard time balancing freaking out and not taking it seriously. I'm like trying to find the balance because it's really easy for me to go from one end to the other. It's really hard for me to stay in the middle. I'm either panicking about everything or I'm just ignoring it completely and I know neither of those are things that I should be doing. And I'm sure if you have somebody in your family dealing with health issues, you understand what I'm saying. Maybe you don't, maybe that's just a me thing, but that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to find that balance between ignoring what's going on and freaking out over every little thing that happens. So much has happened that I feel like I unfortunately I'm used to it and that sucks, but uh, it's been easier on me this year because I'm expecting the worst. Instead of something coming out of nothing, it feels like I'm so used to bad news that bad news is just bad news. Um, I wish I could like elaborate on that more, but I don't think I've done the soul searching and the, the digging in my brain to be able to vocalize what I feel. but. That's the best way I can explain where I'm at. Stay tuned, I'll probably do an update video with her because I do think it's important to raise awareness about this type of stuff because there's a lot of ignorance around it and it's not really anybody's fault, but I just wish that there was more awareness out there. I don't know what else to say, guys. Videos that you can look forward to. I have some ideas and feel free to comment if you have any more to add for me. But first of all, the California vlog, of course. We're also going to San Diego. I mean, I know that's within California, but I think that might be a separate vlog because that will be for Noah and I's anniversary and it's a little bit different than what we usually do when we visit California. And then I want to do a full essential Utah vlog where I do all of the Utah things. I want to do a video where I spend a day living like the Gilmore Girls. I think that would be really cute where I go into like a small town eat at a diner, but again, I need more ideas to incorporate into that video, so feel free to comment on that. Um, in January, we are going to Jamaica, and I'll vlog that for sure. We were supposed to go to Hawaii next week, but we were staying in Maui, and obviously we know about the Maui fires, so that did get canceled, which I'm kind of bummed about, but I'm sure we'll We'll schedule a trip that I can vlog to make up for that at some point. Haven't scheduled anything yet, but I'm sure you guys will hear about it when I do. I cannot wait to show you our new apartment. It's been a pain in the butt to get in there, but it is a cute apartment and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, I'll probably see you there in a few videos. Probably not in the next one. I think my next one will be the California vlogs, but I'll see you there eventually. <laughs> or you can follow on Instagram and maybe I'll post something there. Or TikTok. TikTok I've been really active on lately. Forgot to mention, because we're going to be in Utah this entire winter, expect lots and lots of skiing vlogs. I think that's all I have to say. Bye guys.